Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. P channel. Here you go, I'm back. Um, before I'm gonna start speaking about this video, I wanna say that 2,400 subscribers is like, like what? I didn't expect that amount of uh, you becoming a fan of my channel, of my content. Anyway, let's jump in. Uh, Octopus app on Android devices. Octopus app on Android device allowing you to map your keyboard um, keyboard and a gaming pad mouse and etc for you to play Android games on your Android device somehow it's making noises anyway um, yes and games on Android devices and there's an app called Octopus so let me find it oh I actually got it here installed but let me go to a store hopefully keyboard still working store and I'll show you. Oc Octopus. Forgot to change the camera. Newbie mistake. Newbie mistake. Anyway, um, well, I'll just. This is first time I'm recording video in like two weeks, so uh, apologies. But basically, this is Octopus app. As you can see, uh, play PUBG mobile games using mouse and keyboard, and etc. Gamepad, and etc. So you can remap the keyboard keys and gaming pad to um, an Android device or any Android game. Well, what I mean Android, well, I mean any Android game. Uh, I tried five or six and they all they all were working perfectly, like uh, PUBG and uh, Rules of Survival, um, Kingdom something, MOBA style game. But anyway, yes, it's working. And basically right now I'll say well, I already probably told you um, the reason why you need to use this app is allowing you to map keyboard and mouse and gamepad, etc., to for you to play Android games. That's basically the the reason of this app. That's why you're gonna download and install it because you will be able to map, as you can see, PUBG with the peripherals uh, games. You enter the games to the library, um, add the games to the library, then do this, do that, and fine. I tried this app a couple of times, it's all working ish. Sometimes it's glitchy, sometimes it uh, decides to uh, crash, and etc. Now, um, the main reason of this video um, I noticed numerous comments appeared on my videos saying that, oh, just go use Octopus app, map your keyboard and a mouse, and then you can play games, and that's it. Um, Yes, um, you can use this app, but main concern is is the permissions this app is asking for you to allow. Well, asking for permissions. So um, it is a bit strange. The permissions is that's what um, basically putting me away of using this app. So let me find this somewhere here hiding under Earl. Yes, I know. Yes, if you right now trying to make a comment that oh you can disable permissions. Yes, I know. Yeah, yes, you can disable permissions, and select which permissions you're allowing and which not. But the problem is not everybody will know that that is possible. So imagine you are dad or a mom and you gave your Android device to your son or daughter, to your kid to play game and map the keys, and then your child just downloads this app, installs and maps and playing. But some of the permissions is weird. So permissions. So as you can see, I'm allowed only storage. So it's read and write. So install and, and etc. That's it. But then when you look telephone, make phone calls. This app is asking permission to make phone calls. Well, let's let's go back to where I'm saying yes, you can disable them and Yes, fine, all good, all la da dee, la da da, and you go and start playing. But not everybody knows that, and they um, you can end up in a trouble if one of these permissions actually are dodgy, and this app is actually dodgy because um, not everybody knows how to de delete or disable them. Obviously, everybody who knows Android more than average, they know you can go with this, and like I'm showing you now, you can disable them, but. This was, I don't really want to advertise this app on my channel that is one stop shop to go and use keyboard and a mouse to play games. That's why I went and I bought it this. 
um, which is is Game Sur X1 mapping device, which companies based in um, in Asia, somewhere in China, Japan, and yeah, it's um, it's it's not hundred percent. I'm not hundred percent trust them, but it's they are they are for me are more reliable and more trustworthy than Octopus app. That's why I spent seventy pounds and I bought this and it's here and that's why I'm using this to play games with the keyboard and a mouse but not octopus app uh, so let's go back to a permissions I think I already said enough it's yes it's okay to use but if you're using please just deselect these permissions because it's like bullshit first permission to make phones make telephone calls why why the app that require that allows you to map keyboard and a mouse wants you to allow this app to make phone calls or listen to them? Hmm? Well, you never know who's the who is listening at the other end. So um, yeah, that's why I got disabled that. Obviously, storage read and write app needs to read and write needs to write and save your key mapped profiles somewhere on your phone. That's understandable. Text message. What, this app gonna start sending text messages somewhere? Really? Um, that's why it's, I got this deselected text messages. Come on, seriously, app needs text messages. Actually, hold on, let me minimize this. It's gonna be easier for you to follow exactly which one is deselected, which one I do or not. Right, this way. This way is much better. Microphone. This app requires microphone. Why? Why this app needs a microphone? I need a microphone to record videos and my stupid sometimes voice. But why? Why? Location. Who cares? Like, why they need to know your phone location? I understand. Well, they want to know where you ba where you live or where you at that certain time when you're using this app. So let's say I live in Great Britain and um, I'm traveling on a bus from Bristol to London. They want to know that that person who's downloaded Octopus app playing certain game using their app and the gamepad while traveling from Bristol to London. Why they need to know that? That's what I can understand. Why? Next thing is uh, contacts. Seriously, they want to know what's in my contact list? I, I can't understand that. I cannot understand that. Camera. Right, okay, uh, yeah, I understand that. They need camera uh, permissions because in this app you can create a profile. Probably they want to allow, the, well, probably they want to have a camera permission for that Octopus app to take a photo of your mug face, thingy mingy, and use it as an avatar, use it like a profile picture. But come on, why? I, I don't, I, no, no, dis disable that. Calendar. They want to know when the next time you're going to visit dentist. Do they want to know when next time you're going to your meeting? Or, I don't know, you probably created a, a calendar event for next Friday or so. You and your friends meeting in a park and playing PUBG with keyboard and, well, keyboard, with the controllers. So you're sitting at the bench and you're just like 15 of them. They don't want, why they need to know that? I can't understand. And the best one of them all is the body sensor. Why? Why they need to have permission to a body sensor? Right. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm right now bragging. I'm right now throwing dirt in this app. Yeah. I understand. If you think that what I'm saying is bullshit, let me know comment section below. But besides that, come on. Like, why they want to know this? Why they need to know my body sensor? Why they want to know how many footsteps I'm doing while I'm playing this certain game through this app? Do they want to know my heart rate? How much I'm sweating when I'm dying in PUBG? <sighs> Wrong way. I have nothing else to say. Seriously, like that that's that's why I'm not really um into um advertising this app on my channel. Um if you're planning to use this app, just go and disable these permissions except storage. Otherwise you cannot save your 
key maps. You've done your key mapping, you can save it in a small file, which is kept for future, just in case if you are you messed it up, you can always back it up and restore. So that's it. That's pretty much why I think this Octopus app is crap. Thank you very much for watching. If you think that what I said is bullshit, tell me reason why in the comment section below. And I'll see you in another video where I am... I don't know what I'm gonna do next. This is like a first video in two weeks or so, so just bear with me and I'll come back shortly.